Hello and welcome to 3 Doro TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Artificial intelligence has completely transformed the way we consume and analyze sports. It is making the world smarter for athletes, broadcasters, advertisers and the viewers with real-time statistics. And AI provides several benefits such as forecasting and improved decision making. And as per the reports, the global artificial intelligence sports market is forecasted to reach $19.9 billion by the year 2030. So, to discuss the transformation AI is bringing to the sports industry, I have been joined by Megha Gambhir, the co-founder and CEO of Stupa Sports, which is an AI-backed sports analytics company for table tennis. Welcome to 3 Dotto TV. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, lovely to be here and uh, I'm keen to talk about uh, AI in sports tech. Great. It's a pleasure to have you, Megha. So, your opening remarks on AI and its potential in sports and gaming. Uh, I think these days everyone is, of course, talking about AI starting from, True. Uh, I think, uh, at home Alexa to uh, going out and talking about uh, big companies, Google and, and Amazon doing a lot of stuff on AI on each and every sector. But uh, I'll purely focus on sports uh, because I, I come from that uh, background uh, um, I think the way it has now shaped up the industry, uh, it is uh, magnificent uh, in terms of, and it is actually impacting each and every sector within uh, the sports itself. If you talk about, for example, the player segment, uh, improving their uh, I mean, performance or, or helping them in, in enhancing a bit or enhancing their performance or doing a better training. Uh, vis a vis, if I uh, bring this to uh, I mean, fan engagement, mm. then bringing um, uh, graphics, TV graphics, AI uh, in terms of showing real-time statistics on TV, uh, showing the predictions and uh, uh, predictions and forecast, talking about probabilities. All these are also helping a lot of uh, sports in terms of fan engagement. And then to bring it to the social media part, which is basically a content generation part. And I think there it is actively very, very helpful because it helps also to generate a lot of uh, real-time uh, video highlights it can uh, I mean, bring in for the players, for the fans, for the consumers, and then helping them in enhancing the performance as well. So I personally believe that uh, AI uh, on whole have helped the entire ecosystem of sports, starting from the players to the competition organizers, to the fan engagement, to the TV broadcasters, and also to analyze uh, I mean, the ticketing and other areas as well. And I, I see a bright future. It's just that there is a little bit of, uh, I think, hesitance uh, from a lot many people to accept this technology and also to, to be aware of how you can use it best. I think that sort of a gap we are covering at the moment in, in various sectors and also it is there in sports as well. Over the period of time, I feel that this will become like a right hand to people and then they will be more com comfortable and convenient towards using this technology. But yeah, I think uh, more or less, I, I feel that this is a uh, this is literally a blessing uh, to ease out there a lot many things, uh, and I see this uh, coming up uh, quite big in in future. So over the time, it will become a right hand to various people. So uh, you highlighted a lot of advantages. Can you please also highlight some applications or use cases of AI in sports business? Yeah, definitely. So I'll, I'll probably, I think, uh, will relate with many of the things which are we are also doing. For example, we are consuming AI in a very big part, which is fan engagement. Mm -hmm. So to, to modify the TV broadcast experience for the people who are watching the game. So something you, I mean, very similar, you might have seen from long in cricket or when you're watching IPL that you can see a good statistics on the ground, real time popping up showing the LPW, showing the heat maps, yes. and showing various other parameters of the sports, right? And now even if a kid is watching uh, a sport, I mean, if a kid is watching a cricket, he also understands everything because he is now well-versed with all the terminologies. Similarly, I think many other sports are also now using similar tech, which we are also using in, in table tennis and other racket sports also, because we are just not focused in table tennis. We are also moving on to the other racket sports. So we basically consume the similar tech. Uh, I mean, it is a little advanced one at the moment because we use deep learning and machine learning as well. 
and uh, we bring that uh, to a real time uh, processing of the videos of the of the feed which is being recorded and then we produce uh, the data which is literally can be used by commentators to do live commentary can be used by the right. viewers to watch mm -hmm. the nice experience uh, maybe understand the ball speed understand where it has been pitched understand what could uh, be done uh, in the next upcoming uh, i mean sort of points so all those information helps a lot in terms of growing the fan engagement growing the uh, sort of understanding of the sport itself to a fan base and this eventually helps in growth i would say uh, the growth of the sport itself other than that uh, similar to this the other engagement is basically helping the athletes in enhancing their performance and you can generate a lot of statistical information which is literally backing up with the data showing them what exactly is uh, they are doing wrong what are the trends they have been following and uh, they can even follow or or derive a lot of information on how they can sort of perform in the near future with changing those trends and and probabilities and predictions and and this entire piece also helps a lot of coaches to in depth analyze their the performance of the players and help them becoming a better player so these are two of the applications but similar to this we have lot many other applications be it understanding the market hmm. uh, i mean of equipments merchandise understanding the ticketing market for an event where players are or where fans are coming to attend the event you can collect a lot of information historic information and then create a lot of analytics and buzz around what what's actually happening and you can predict lot many thing which can efficiently help you in saving a lot of money and also uh, i mean using the money in the right aspects uh, rather than uh, digressing you from from the actual uh, uh, i mean profit so so yeah these are the multiple applications on different segments be it broadcast be it player fan engagement be it uh, player performance be it training be it coaching or or understanding the overall administration things as well which related to uh, which are related to ticketing and other pieces great so you claim that super sports is the first ai backed sports analytics company in the world for uh, table tennis so you and uh, mr deepak uh, you both came up with this uh, you know you both are life partners and also business partners so how did this you know amalgamation of uh, or this marriage of ai and uh, technology happen so i basically come from a tech background i spent uh, 14 15 15 years in technology in different companies like american express pepsico uh, through uh, um and cognizant hcl and then i worked also in ey handled some of the projects for world bank and united nations so i have spent more or less i think more than a decade into technology into analytics and uh, while i was working on different sectors not sports however deepak who's my husband and we met also because of sports only because he was in the same college as i was in in the same class i came from academic background and he came in from the sports quota so we met uh, i mean there and then we we married after i think 8 9 years of our our relationship and then eventually when uh, i mean he he belongs to table tennis he has been uh, i mean a player before also the former coach of our indian national team for some time and he is uh, i mean i would say involved in lot many other sports as well because he's a sports lover but primarily he focuses more on table tennis because that's his professional career so now when we actually uh, i mean after marriage i think most of the conversations was around table tennis because uh, of him, his interest and also i also uh, love sports and uh, i think from quite a long time he has been thinking about developing something for helping the players and athletes because he belongs to this genre and he he understand what are the problems player, players are facing and then he talked about these issues to me and then asked a little bit of on help from me that if i can solve this problem with the technology hmm. that's how i would say this origination happened of this idea because while i was working i was also looking out for opportunities where i can try my hands on okay. uh, by doing something of my own and i was looking out for different sectors like uh, healthcare and environment uh, but i think uh, i'm a little did i i know at that point in time that i could actually get into sports and then uh, i started helping him a little on on the tech side uh, i mean did some pocs to help the players and athletes and from there on i think the journey began 
in the in the very less time we have figured out that what we are building is a need of the hour and there is a big market out there who's waiting to embrace this solution what we are building and i think we have found right investors right advisor at the right time to to guide us also to bring our company to this level where it is today now we are working with 15 plus different global federations and clients right. uh, across the world we are working with world table tennis who is the parent body we are working with the ittf which is the of course the governing body for this sport and now we are heading on to the different sports like badminton squash paddle because we are getting a lot of requests from these federations and mm-hmm. clubs and players as well that we should do something in in that and it it is sort of i would say that was part of our vision when we started that we, what we are going to build is just not going to be only for one sport we really want to get to the other sports as well great and uh, that's how our story has has begun since you mentioned about stupa and your entire story so can you please share more details on the user base including some investments and tie ups on your platform yes definitely so so i would say that we have began with table tennis of course i our go to market is is table tennis because we have at home expertise and uh, with that like i said that we have uh, 15 plus partnerships already and uh, sweden norway brazil are some of our premium clients with whom we are um, i'm in focusing on their entire market for helping them in end to end tournament management streaming production media rights and then helping them also in the analytics piece as well so we are solving all of uh, i would say their problem in one ecosystem or one platform which we have made uh, it, the ai layer is part of that platform but we also begin with helping them starting from the beginning the club management player management and then moving on to the streaming production and rights and and so forth and uh, in that uh, like i said that we are working with world bank uh, sorry world table tennis and uh, uh, table tennis uh, uh, in ittf which is the international table uh, federation of table tennis so so we are helping them as well uh, in lot many areas uh, one is we have recently done one of the event in uh, uh, singapore as well as in goa which was the i would say the biggest event in table tennis uh, and we were actually doing the similar work showcasing nice heat maps graphics on tv for the tv commentators and it was live on sony sony television as well so we have started our journey with the, with the bigger sort of the i would say um, market clients at the moment and uh, now we're getting a lot of requests from the other sports so we'll head to that as well so apart from that on the on the funding side we have already uh, raised close uh, close to a more than a million dollars in last 3 years uh, from uh, different angel investors some of them are strategic investors as well for example rakshat rati who's the founder and md of norwin gaming he is one of the i would say the first tech uh, i mean we have received from him only and he also helps us a lot in uh, uh, i mean uh, because he is also the strategic advisor because he's part of esports ecosystem more on the content ip building broadcasting so he also helps us in lot many things and similar to that we have other investors in our cap table who are uh, some some are strategic and some are uh, purely financial now we are heading on to our next round because uh, after a very good product market fit a very good credibility establishment what we have done in the market uh now we are heading to our uh, pre series or a series a round and the conversations are in 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 going at the moment mm. so you just mentioned that you are getting requests from other sports too and you're planning to incorporate ai in some other sports so uh, can you please share more details on this like which if it's sports uh so i think that's a little bit of uh, i mean i won't talk about the client names but yes badminton is one of the area right. which we want to get into now because we are having very active conversations and a very active uh, interest from a uh, lot many uh, people out there who are in badminton other than that uh, uh, paddle is another sport which we want to pick up and this is an emerging sport uh, because we feel that uh, even in emerging sport as well it becomes much more uh, uh, easier to begin the culture from the beginning itself rather than uh, i mean changing something which is already part of the culture So paddle is a new sport and it is uh, going very heavy in demand in the Middle East as well as in the Europe. 
uh, recently world party league has been formed and uh, qatar was was a very big uh, sort of an investor there so yeah so we are focusing on badminton paddle uh, some part of uh, request are also coming from squash so we'll also be looking at squash as well as tennis so these are the upcoming sports we are uh, heading towards great all the best for your future endeavors and thank you so much for being on 3 roto tv and sharing your views and knowledge with our viewers it was really great having you on the show thank you so much and uh, i i really was uh, i'm happy to talk about uh, ai which is a topic very close to my heart and uh, yeah so thank you so much for for having me thank you so i was joined by megha gambhir the co-founder and ceo of super sports she shared insights on the transformation ai is bringing to the sports industry keep watching 3 roto tv do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and for updates related to web3 please log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the qr code this is me vishakha thakur signing off